Uh, President Trump will be back in a New York courtroom this morning as jury selection continues in his criminal hush money trial. The former president spent his day out of court meeting with the Polish president at Trump Tower. And on Tuesday, former President Trump saying the trial is helping his bid for the White House as he, quote, campaigns locally. Dre Clark is in New York with the very latest for us. Dre, the former president had one day to focus on the campaign. And now this morning, he's back in court again. Yeah, good morning to you. Former President Trump will be back here at the courthouse in just a few hours from now after a day off yesterday. He certainly is making a good use of his time. He had dinner last night with Poland's President Andrzej Duda. Certainly a big topic of conversation would be the ongoing war uh, between Russia and Ukraine. President Duda uh, is a big backer of Ukraine. Meanwhile, Tuesday, Mr. Trump made a stop in Harlem visiting a bodega where he says he was invited by the Bodega Association. He was greeted with both cheers and jeers. He talked about how bad crime uh, has become here in New York City. Meanwhile, seven people so far have been selected to serve on the jury at the former president's criminal trial here in Manhattan. The goal is to see 12 jurors and six alternates. Judge Juan Marchand says he's optimistic opening statements could happen on Monday. Among the seven jurors chosen, there are four men and three women, ranging in age and race. Two are attorneys. One's an engineer, a business owner, oncology nurse, English teacher, and professional salesman. Meanwhile, Mr. Trump has complained his legal team should have more chances to strike people from serving on the jury. Prosecutors and defense attorneys are each allowed to use 10 strikes uh, from having people serve on the trial there. So far, both sides have used six of their strikes. Now, on True Social, the former president wrote, quoting here, I thought strikes were supposed to be uh, unlimited when we were picking our jury. I was then told we only had 10, not nearly enough when we were purposely given the second worst venue in the country. Don't worry. We have the first worst also as the witch hunt continues election interference. The former president is charged with 34 counts of falsifying business records in order to allegedly cover up hush money payments made to Stormy Daniels leading up to the 2016 presidential election. Uh, the two allegedly had a sexual relationship that prosecutors say Mr. Trump wanted to keep quiet. Mr. Trump, of course, denies all of these allegations. Now, on Tuesday, Judge Marchand warned the former president uh, about juror intimidation. Uh, the judge said that Mr. Trump was speaking and gesturing towards a potential juror while she was speaking on Tuesday. Uh, he told Mr. Trump that juror intimidation of any kind will not be tolerated in his courtroom. Marky? Yeah, he's saying uh, this is having the reverse effect, effect while vowing to, quote, straighten out New York. Uh, day three, it continues. Dre Clark, thanks so much. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.